Well, uh, hats off to South Carolina State. Uh, well played football game by those guys. Well played football game by both teams. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a battle. You know, we knew it was going to be a knockdown, drag out deal. And you have to credit both programs. I think we, uh, you know, we, we, we gave the few people that stayed out in the rain uh, their money's worth. But uh, I, I, I can't be more proud of our, our team and our group of seniors the way that they battled. And we just told them uh, as we broke, you know, when you when you give your all and you don't get the, the, the result that you want, you feel that way. And the, the fortunate thing is this team has a ton of these guys coming back next year. And, uh, you know, we'll look forward to going into our off-season program and, uh, you know, being ready to go when the season starts next year. Coach, what can you say about the team's rushing defense? It was outstanding today. You know, th those guys have gotten better on a weekly basis. And uh, they, they held the game together uh, while we were struggling on offense in the first half. I thought South Carolina State had a really good defensive front. And uh, we had to figure some things out on offense and make some adjustments in the second half to be able to move the ball. But I think our defense did a tremendous job of, of holding us in the game, uh, you know, for, for at least two and a half, almost three quarters. Yeah, and I read into that uh, a little bit more. What did you see on the field and how were you guys able to stop the run so successfully? Everybody just doing their own job. You know, we came into the game knowing that, you know, if anything we can't give up is the run. You know, we can live with stuff in the past game. You know, the previous, during the season earlier, we kind of, I think we kind of fell off, you know, being present on the run. You know, later on in the season, you know, that's one thing we made sure every game we went out and accomplished, you know, stopping the run. So that's what it was. Everybody doing their own assignment, everybody getting it done. Joel, to talk about the playing in your final game, you, you ran with a lot of, uh, some like anger and viciousness, and you were really just going after it. Uh, what was it like to play in your final game and to see yourself be so successful? Uh, just credit to the offensive line. You know, it's my last game, so I had to give it everything I got. Especially when I seen my uh, my guy Savage go down, that just gave me even more of an edge to go out there and just play harder. Coach, what do you say about Gerald's performance today? I love him. Uh, you know, Gerald's battled his tail off, man. Both of these senior running backs have have battled their tail off, and uh, you know, I know that the two young tailbacks have gotten a lot of fanfare down the stretch, but they wouldn't have been nearly as successful as they were without uh, Brandon. Brandon Savage and uh, I'm sorry, Aaron Savage and Gerald Hewitt. And uh, you know, it's, it's great to see G come out today and, and run the ball with authority and, and uh, you know, just just give us a presence in the second half. Uh, you know, it's just just relentless effort by him. So, very much appreciative of, uh, of him and, and Nairi as well. You know, these these guys won't be a part of our program on the field, but uh, you know, these guys are building blocks uh, for, for for success that we expect to have in the future. Yeah, Nairi, what kind of emotions are you feeling right now? Just I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of weird, you know, because I just had fun out there with the guys, man. You know, I'm not sad, I'm not angry, cause you. I feel like with this sport, you mad when you don't give your all at the end of the game, and I felt like I can say to all my teammates during that game, nobody folded, nobody quit, nobody put their head down, and a lot of times that's all you can ask for. You know, sometimes things ain't gonna go your way in life. It's life, you know, but I credit my team and, you know, myself and my coaches just to keep going, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, Coach, we talked earlier this week about resiliency, so how proud were you to see one more time this, this senior class show out like this? It's who they are. Uh, it's who they are. It's who they've become. These guys will go out and be great people in society. You know, some of them will get the opportunity to continue playing football, but some of them will go out and be uh, leaders across the country, and, uh, and, and it showed today, you know. South Carolina State's a good football team. Uh, you know, they play a great schedule, and, and I hope that uh, the playoff committees realize that, you know, obviously we'll get one team into the Celebration Bowl, but I think uh, I think that, that based on the talent level in our conference, South Carolina State deserves an, an at-large bid in the NCAA. Yeah, what update can you give on uh, I, th I think it's just, just, just the culmination of uh, 13 weeks of football. You know, I think he just had a separated shoulder, and, and, and he's been hit and hit and hit, but. It was great to see DeAndre, you know, jump out there and play. You know, Dre missed, you know, six weeks with a thumb injury, and, and uh, you know, we kind of had him on the shelf. But, you know, he came in there and, and made some spectacular plays today. You know, he gives us, you know, a different dynamic than Pooty does in the run game. And, and uh, you know, again, the positive is, man, we've got both of those guys back. Yeah, Joe, take me inside the huddle line, especially during that second half when DeAndre's kind of commanding things and, and using his athletic ability. <laughs> what was he kind of like? Oh. <laughs> uh, he was just calm. We told him we got his back. We know he's what he's capable of, and he can make plays. He was just he was ready to go in there and ball. We were just like, all right, Dre, we got your back. 
let's let's go get this thing. And he was he was ready for it. I mean, it was great to see. Uh, you know, hey, in this business, you better have more than one quarterback. You know, um, and it showed it showed today. You know, I think uh, there are a ton of situations around the country where people have two quarterback systems. People have uh, you know guys that can contribute in different ways. I think South Carolina State went through one of those things. But um, you know, let's not forget. You know, Pooty had a hell of a year. Uh, you know, I think he's definite definite Player of the Year candidate. You know, and I think we're very fortunate. Uh, through our recruiting process to have two talented quarterbacks in our program. Uh, any final things you'd like to say about this season and this group of guys that will no longer be with you? No, I, I tell you what, though, I, I'd like to thank, man, the, I don't know who they were, but uh, whoever those people, uh, parents, family, friends, alumni, that stayed out there in the second half and supported uh, this team tonight, I'd really like to thank those people because that, that's big, you know, uh, just, just to hear that there was still noise in the stadium, uh, you know, in, in a downpour when we scored the touchdown to go ahead. Uh, the, Nova State's a special place, and it, it's full of special people. And uh, you know, we're 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 we're, we're kind of moving the needle on our program, and it hadn't moved as fast as some thought it would move. But again, I think uh, you know, when you've got good people in your administration, you've got good people uh, in, in the stands, and you got and you, and you got good people in your locker room. I think uh, Norfolk football is definitely trending upward. So I, I'd like to appreciate those people that supported us throughout the season. Thank you.